Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. I'm gonna be sharing the season's hauntings dialogue voice lines in this video with one of my favorite characters in the entire game, Willow. Speaking of favorite, you guys are amazing. A huge thanks to everyone out there using my supporter creator code Loka Hansen in the Epic Games store and the Fortnite store. Doing a huge thanks for that. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my supporter creator code. For now, guys, enjoy. Smash that button, like, and subscribe. Can't go to sleep, can't go to sleep. If you go to sleep, you'll have that dream again. And now you're talking to yourself. Uh, right, love. You okay? Penny, you know I'm here and you aren't ignoring me? You're pretty hard to miss. I had this terrible dream where I was trying to help people and everyone just ignored me. They acted like I wasn't even there. It was awful. It was only a dream. But it felt so real. I just won't ever sleep again. That's a solid plan. Well, if staying awake is your aim, I have a solution. We must obtain the magical elixir that rouses the forces of good. We need tea. Uh, we're not tea people. How about coffee? Even better. We need coffee. Ah, hearty medium roast. I feel more like myself already. Do you think I could get a handful of that coffee? Sure, Lars, but usually coffee comes in cups, not handfuls. Whatever you say, little robot. But if I sleep, I'll have that dream again. Wait, you're having crazy nightmares too? We'll get you some coffee, Lars. Make it two handfuls, please. Thanks for the pick-me-up. I can't do that dream again. Steel wool is on stage. Lights come up, and suddenly my fingers just forget how to play. The audience turns on us, throwing bottles and demanding refunds. And then they start screaming. I'm not sure what, but it sounded like... Boo. Steel wool does not hear booze. Is this where I get in line for some caffeine? You guys will never believe what happened. I had the craziest dream. I'm setting up a movie marathon. I put the movie on, and on the screen, I see myself in front of the screen, putting a movie on. And on the screen, I see myself in front of the screen, putting a movie on. Have I gone fully meta? Am I in a time loop? <gasps> Am I stuck in a rerun? Something is up. Nightmares are catching. Here you go, Dennis. One coffee, no milk, and way too much sugar. Just how you like it. I will conquer the world with my alertness. Then become jittery, paranoid, and unable to control the volume of my voice. Oh no, it's happening. Why are you looking at me? I guess I should tell you all. I had a nightmare too. Why didn't you say anything? It's embarrassing. I was trapped in a room full of puzzles. And they should have been very easy puzzles, like the kinds for kids or really smart birds. But I couldn't figure it out. These bright floodlights come on and, and a crowd is just staring at me. Well, I can't fit the one circle inside the bigger circle. It was ghastly. Want some coffee? Please. Why are your eyes so big and twitchy? We're all having terrible dreams. So we're drinking coffee. Oh, I want to stay awake, too. You can't have coffee. Liquid makes you catch on fire. I want to be haunted by existential dread like you guys. Hey, Luck, don't tell Ray, but here's some coffee for you. Yay! Dennis, you can't give him liquid. But the little guy feels left out. How about a cup of powdered milk? No coffee and not liquid. <sighs> okay... Ooh, it's so powdery. <laughs> the powdered milk put Locke to sleep. Aw, he looks so peaceful. At least somebody is. My ears can hear, my heart and my brain is scared. I guess he's not having spooky visions. I'm gonna have a pancake, Dennis. Oh, a waffle for Ray. And... All my friends! Yay! Why are we all having nightmares, but Locke has happy dreams? Hey, hey, Willow! Come play with my friends! Mm, breakfast? Hey! Willow! You came to play! Oh, you're Locke's friend, and you're a ghost. I can roll with that. I hope I didn't scare you, Locke. I entered your dream to let you know I'm here. Wait, 
And was it you giving us all nightmarish visions of our own deepest fears? Yeah, Locke's message was informative. Yours were just for fun. <laughs> well, they weren't fun. Sorry, I meant fun for me. <laughs> what have you been up to? I took some time for myself, haunted a few new places, and made a farmer think his goat could talk. Did you go see your family? It's the holidays. I'm sure they'd love to be terrified by you. That's not really an option. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Is your family not, you know, like you? Some are up there, some are over that way. One guy is down there. Here, it's just me. Oh, you must get kind of lonely this time of year. I know. We'll make some holiday trees to welcome our new ghost friend, Willow. Great job. We'll use these to make festive ghost buddies for Willow. That'll help her feel better. After all, lots of holiday stories have ghosts in them, although they're not usually the good guys. If you ask me, spooky beings deserve festive fun, too. Find some more sheets. That sheet will make a perfect ghost tree to welcome Willow. What are you doing, exactly? We're decking the halls for you. Don't judge it yet. We're still finding sheets. Uh, I mean, spectral coverings. Another sheet to make a ghost tree for Willow. Ooh, maybe we should cut eye holes in this one. Am I the first ghost you've met, Ray? Um, let me see. I've met werewolves, vampires, uh, merman, I think. Yes, you are somehow my first ghost. Yeah, I can tell. How are you doing, Willow? It must be hard being far away from home. I appreciate Ray trying to help me feel less lonely, really. But I mean, she goes, <laughs> come on. Oh, her heart's in the right place. Just tell her. What would she say if I put on a box and call myself her robot friend? Beebity boop. Honestly, she would love it. That's enough sheets for our ghosts. Holiday fun for all, no matter which spectral plane you inhabit. I really appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but it's just a little old fashioned. I mean, the whole sheets are a ghost thing went out with gas lamps and chimney sweeps. Hey, Hobie still needs chimney sweeps. Well, I mean, we tie a brush to Pop's head and throw him up there, but it does the job. Is it okay if we take down the ghost trees? Someone out there could use these sheets, even if they smell a little like cultural insensitivity. Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess that's what I get for stereotyping apparitions. I stayed behind to warn people about the hotel, but if I don't have to do that anymore, what's the point of my even being here? He'll figure it out. Even Dennis has a purpose, and he thinks meteorology is the study of hamburgers. Ray just doesn't get ghosts, Willow. She's stuck in the past, but your boy Dennis is here for you. Feel free to not be there for me, really. Look, I don't know a lot of things, but I do know food. There's a cookbook for everything out there. All meat, no meat, people who squeeze out all the juice and only eat that for some reason. There's got to be a cookbook for ghosts. What? You gonna eat me, Dennis? No one's cooking a ghost. I mean cooking for a ghost. Hey, over there, a guide to creepy culinary classics. Wow, you already found a ghost cookbook? Hmm, poultry geists. Chicken dishes for the loud and violent. Ugh, poultry guys. Those guys are the worst. I'm so spooky, watch me throw things. <laughs> The flying book routine? So boring. Aw, oh, man. This book is about possessing people, not possessing amazing breakfasts. Willow, uh, y you don't possess people, do you? Have you seen the people I'm around? All hair and thumbs? Ugh, why would I want to possess those meat bags? No offense. None taken. I do have hair and thumbs. Is that what books sound like? I mean, it's been a while. Let's see. This recipe calls for eviscerated entrails. Uh, oh, love it! The cursed head of the ceremonial midnight goat, Blorf. So good! Oh, and hey, tiny marshmallows. Ew! Recipes for revenge, demonic delights. Ugh, none of that sounds safe or delicious. And they're all served cold. Let's try one last cookbook. That's the last ghost cookbook. Now there's always time for tea. Well, it's for ghosts, but it's all tiny sandwiches and crumpets. 
That's how you get an infestation of singing Victorian kids and guys with lanterns and top hats. I guess they do make cookbooks for ghosts, just not for you. I don't fit in anywhere. That's the problem. No one gets me. Well, hey, it's not just you. We all feel alone sometimes. Like that time I got stuck in the freezer, the time I fell down the well. I felt so alone. Oh, and that one time I was in the car trunk, and when I locked myself out of home base in my underwear and everyone inside laughed. Joke's on them, though. I learned how to survive outdoors in my underwear. As long as the temperature is decently warm and I don't have to kick anything. So when the husks finally come for our pants, I will be king! There's a lot to unpack there, Dennis. But thanks for trying. Hey, Willow. Um, Locke had an idea. I'm too sad to argue. What's up, Locke? Well, I know that when I'm feeling down, I paint. It's calming and makes me feel powerful and in control. I paint a tree pink, and it's pink because I say so. And for that moment, I am that tree's master. Can ghosts paint? We're more into possession-related pottery. What else do ghosts do for fun? Well, not me, but one guy at the Oak Dirge would push people off the balconies and laugh and laugh. Okay, well, I would appreciate us not doing that. Oh, but there is a useful way to let out your frustrations. Go husk hunting. There you go, first one down. How's that feel? Kind of empty, honestly. Part of what makes messing with humans so fun is the sound they make. These guys, they don't have that high shriek. You know, like a, ah! Wait, I didn't get my shriek right. That's better. Okay, well, we'll try again, and then maybe that one will be more, uh, shrieky. How'd it feel to send that husk to his eternal slumber? I don't know what I am. Bored? Tired? Um, happy? Thirsty? <sighs> oh, a little bit better now. I'm learning so much about ghosts. I don't think the husk hunt is working. Sure, watching them scatter into the cosmic ether is fun, but it's just not making me happy. Ray, what was that thing you told me to do when I had to lead home base orientation? Fake it till you make it? Hey, yeah. Science says if you just act like it makes you happy, then it'll trigger the real feelings. Really, I read it. Well, I read the headline. In a m magazine of science. Don't we have husks to hunt? That was the last one. How do you feel? I am very happy. Thank you very much for the husk hunt. Oh, I know you're faking it, but that's nice to hear. Well, you guys are so capable and really seem to know what you're doing. Okay, you can stop faking it now. <sighs> okay, good. I guess the husk hunt didn't help. Dennis said that ghosts at their core crave spooky evil. Well, all ghosts aren't the same. Like, would you two like it if everyone thought you liked the same exact things? We do. No. We'll talk about this later. None of this is working. I'm just not getting into the spirit of anything. I'm just gonna go crawl into a mirror and wait for someone to say my name three times. Wait, Willow. I've consulted my library for festive references. He means he watched a lot of holiday movies. And do you know what they all had in common? A romantic kiss under the mistletoe. Who can be sad when you're smashing faces under foliage? I don't know. I'm not really a love type of ghost. Give it a chance. You'll get swept away by holiday romance. The last time I got swept away by romance, it didn't go so well. We were together before I went to the hotel, before all, well, all of this. And when I never came back, he moved on. But I didn't. Did he ever come to the hotel? Yeah, with his new girlfriend. He couldn't see me. But I was mature about it. I only made the shower head pour blood once. Okay, twice. Great find! This is ghost mistletoe! Let's hang it up and it will summon Willow's perfect ghost mate. Take it down! Oh no, did we unleash something terrible? No, I just went out with that guy once and he wouldn't stop name dropping. I knew the headless horseman! Let me tell you about Napoleon! Blah blah Caesar! Loser. Now we're talking. This is some primo mistletoe. Full of merriment, the correct amount of brightness. Magical, right, Dennis? Dennis? What mistletoe? Are you eating it? It's poison. Don't eat it. But it's so magical. 
Uh, we'll be right back. Go find another mistletoe. Now this is movie mistletoe. Do I just wait for someone to show up, or... Um, maybe we need, like, a soundtrack. In the movies, there are violins. I have a harmonica. Ray, no romance anywhere started with a harmonica. Another ghost mistletoe. A mummy? Yeah, we know. Don't touch the treasure. Go tighten your bandages. Not into mummies, huh? They're just so focused on keeping people out of their crypts and protecting their stuff. Like, yeah, countless cursed riches of ancient kings. We get it. Find a new trick. At least mummies have a purpose. I would guard a bunch of gold birds, too, if they gave all of this some sort of point. I... I need to be alone. Ray, I've tried food and I've tried movies. I don't know what else to do for her. Poor Willow. Who would have thought that being a ghost would be so sad? Most people would, Ray. Most people would. Still feeling down then, Willow? Oh good, it's someone else with a seasonal plan to make my heart grow five sizes. So, what kind of heartfelt talk are we having? Try not to go beyond 25% sappy, please, or I may die again. I think you've had more than enough time for talking. I'm more of a hands-on kind of girl. Your days of being trapped in a hotel are done, Willow. In our world, buildings are valuable and you're lucky to have one. You see that structure? It's a maze and yours to haunt all you like. But don't start hanging your cobwebs quite yet. You gotta build it first. Watch out! There's a smasher here to destroy your work! Your maze is 25% complete! Another smasher spotted! He's gonna knock down your maze! You are halfway to a haunted maze. Keep building! Your maze is 75% done! Take care of the last smasher or your maze has had it! Now place traps on floors, walls and ceilings. Your maze has attracted some guests. Eliminate the husks! A proper haunted maze needs restless spirits. Don't let them escape! The husks are starting to break free! Your maze is halfway haunted. Finish off the husks! Way to go! Now your maze is properly haunted. Well done. Oh, wait! I get it now! The maze represents the walls I've been putting up. And the monsters represent the friends I have that only want to get past them. Exactly! But please don't literally let the walls down because the monsters will hurt you. I'm so powerless, floating around, not connecting with anyone or having any real impact. But look at what you did. You built something of your own and you took control. You can do it. You know what they say. Home is where the haunt is. I'm going to ignore that because I like you, but now I need some time to think. Well, Penny, that was a really nice thing you did for Willow. When you're feeling sad, you can't just mope around. You'll never feel better. I figured if nothing else, it would keep her occupied a bit. Take her mind off it. Ah, the old peanut butter and the dog toy gambit. I prefer to call it spirit building. Hey, Lars, I owe you an apology. Oh, for introducing yourself by invading my dreams? Yeah, I'm not so good with the whole friends thing. Yeah, I get it. I'm kind of a loner, too. Hey, I'm going to deliver some holiday gifts. We could be loners together if you want to join me. I'd like that. Who are these gifts for? A lot of people haven't made it to home base yet. We want them to know... You know, we're there for them. Can we do another delivery? This delivery is for a group that doesn't want to come to home base. You give gifts to people that don't want your help? I'm sure they have their reasons. Sometimes people have a hard time reaching out. I think you know what I mean. And it's good to remind them that there are other people out there. Yep. Hey, Willow, since you're giving out gifts, can I ask for a present of my own? Could you... Stay out of my dreams. You seem cool and all, but sometimes things in my head get a little... Woo! <laughs> It'd just be nice to know the door is locked. Sure, Lars. Happy Holidays! Here's a gift for you! Wow, Willow, that was almost festive. I guess I'm feeling a little bit better after all. Only a couple more deliveries to go. Nice one, ghost girl. They'll appreciate that gift. Ghost girl? Oh, sorry. I like to give my friends nicknames. 
Is that okay? Are we friends? Not just anyone gets to ride in the van. Only one more delivery. That's the last gift. Since you mentioned the van, Lars, you know there's a gigantic hole in the floorboard, right? If I wasn't already a ghost, I'd be afraid of becoming one. Oh yeah, you can look right through there. Check out the view. You may call it a hole, but I think of it as an accessory window. It's amazing. All of you weirdo meatbags have your own roles to play here. We are a well-oiled home base machine. Well, you're at least a semi-functioning cluster of people and bots. Willow? Are you smiling? Willow is happy. I feel better. Yeah. I had a purpose at the hotel, and even though I'm not there anymore, helping still feels like the thing to do. Do you want to come with us to sing holiday songs and make snow husks? Let's not go crazy, but thanks for everything. Hey, it's what friends do. Wow. Friends. You'll get used to it, ghost girl.